Hi everybody, it's Harvard Lawyer Lee. Today, Amber Heard got a big surprise at trial. Johnny Depp's team brought in a brand new witness Heard's team knew nothing about, a guy named Morgan Knight, who owned and was the manager the night that Johnny Depp and Amber Heard stayed at the Hicksville trailer park. What a different story he had from what Amber Heard has said. So we're gonna decide today. You're gonna vote in the comments below. You get to decide, was the trailer trashed? You decide. So let's hear and compare the evidence. We're gonna start with Amber's story. Amber told the jury that well, while they were staying at the luxury park, which apparently is a luxury trailer park where rich people go to live in trailers. And Johnny Depp had rented it out for a group of Amber's friends to go and Johnny Depp went also. So large group went and during the course of the night, Amber says she and Johnny got in a huge fight and the fight turned physical with Johnny first wrecking the entire trailer and then sexually violating her by doing a cavity probe looking for his missing drugs. According to her, he ripped her dress. All kinds of crazy stuff happened. Let's hear her describe it. And then you're going to hear from the manager and hear how different his story is. Area outside of the bathroom and he starts you know, pat, pat, what it feels like patting me down or saying he's patting me down, I can't recall, but he ripped my dress, the um, uh, strap top part of my dress. I had just dyed this thing um, myself pink, and I, it's just one of those things I, I was like, you know, that's my, I just finished that dress. And um, he's like grabbing my, my, my breasts, he's touching my thighs. Um, he rips my underwear off, um, and then he proceeds to do a cavity search. He was looking. He said he was looking for his drugs, his cocaine, his coke. So I just smiled and made a joke about how trash the trailer got. And we had to get the manager uh, who started off furious that Johnny had wrecked the thing. And then he had this like black mesh tank top, not tank top, but it was like a meshy kind of shirt on. And I remember he came into the trailer and looked around and was like, whoa, what happened here? Whoa. And Johnny had an exchange with him and I remember wa watching this man be so charmed it was just a kind of a surreal experience and you know it, it just went away you know that just got fixed we walked out of the trailer at some point my dog stepped on a bee we went to the all right now let's hear from Morgan Knight he owned the trailer park and was the manager on duty the night Amber Heard and Johnny Depp came and before I forget please subscribe to the channel and please also turn the notifications on. This is such an important week. This is the week we may hear back from the jury or at least at the beginning of next, next week. And I know you don't want to miss any of the important notifications. So um, according to Morgan Knight, what happened at the trailer was that Amber was yelling at Johnny that Depp was cowering and afraid. He said he got quieter and quieter through the night. Very different story. Let's hear what he has to say. Um, so, Ms. Heard asked him to go talk um, off to the side and she was upset at him and she was yelling at him. Um, and I personally had been there, obviously, so, um, but I just, went back in the house because I didn't Objection. want to. And Morgan talks about when the morning came, he heard there was some damage in the trailer and he rushed over there because he was afraid that the damage would be pretty bad. But when he got there, he says, far from being furious, like Amber Heard said, he was relieved. Let's hear. So what did you observe when you went to the trailer? I observed that um, there was a light sconce by the bathroom um, in the bedroom that had been broken off the wall and a couple pieces were on the floor 
and they were, um, and yeah, it was basically just broken. The light fixture was hanging on the wall still, and except for the pieces that were on the floor. How often do light fixtures in the trailers break? Um, they break uh, pretty often. I mean, it's not like a usual thing, but things in the trailers generally get broken because it's all vintage trailers. And um, I would say as much as every couple weeks, there's some incident of damage in one of the trailers. Beyond the light fixture, was anything else in the trailer damaged? No, everything else looked fine. In fact, we have a, a something we call a piggy fee uh, that we address to guests that if there's anything what we call inconsiderate or unusually large messes, we charge them extra for it for a $25 an hour cleaning fee, but they did not receive one of those because everything outside of light fixture looks fine. And what was your reaction to seeing the damaged light fixture? Um, to be honest, I was relieved. I was able to get that and charge it to uh, Nathan who had whose credit card I had. And what was your understanding of who Nathan was? Mr. Depp's assistant. Okay. And what did you charge Nathan or Mr. Depp for replacing that, that pair of light fixtures? The pair came out to $62. So according to Morgan Knight, the only damage was that a wall sconce was knocked off the wall and broken. He said it cost $62 to fix it. It was so little they didn't even bother to charge Johnny the piggy fee for people who had created a big mess they had to clean up after. So you make the choice. Vote in the comments below. Trailer trash, you pick.